video is about everything you get from a Starling bank account. Starling is a challenger bank that has been voted best UK bank multiple times. They are the main bank I use for personal use and business. I also use Starling as my family and I were traveling the world. So why do so many people like Starling and what exactly can you expect from a Starling bank account? Request payments. Starling offers an easy way to send or receive money. Let's say someone owes you for that time they forgot their wallet. Well, you can request money from them through the Starling app. If they bank with Starling, it will come up as a request on their app for them to confirm. If not, you can send them a private link that they can go to and make a payment straight to you. Your banking details are not shown either, so it's a great way to receive money from someone without having to give out your account number or anything like that. Virtual cards. A fairly new feature from Starling is their virtual card. This is a card you can set to a certain space. This means you can only spend as much as you put into that space. A great way of sticking to a budget or making sure you can only spend a certain amount per month on clothes or coffee or whatever. Utilizing this feature could be a great money management tool and excellent budget companion. Connected cards. You can make a secondary card that works with your current account. You can set various limits and keep an eye on the spending done on that card. It's a good way to allow spending from your account for someone else, but not just giving them access to your whole account. This can be a good feature for carers or perhaps your childcare. If you need it, then it's a really well set up feature. Depositing checks. You can deposit checks up to £1,000 in the Starlink app. You just take a picture and you're done. No messing around or having to go anywhere. It's not something I have to do very often, but I love how it saves me the hassle when I do receive a check. Notifications. You receive an instant notification for payments made from the account. This gives you peace of mind because if something fraudulent happens, you can see and act upon it straight away. It also makes spotting mistakes easier. Been overcharged for something? It will be clear as soon as it happens. This feature was particularly handy whilst traveling as it shows both the local and home currency for the transactions, making tracking spending easier. Insights. The Starling app does a great job of categorizing your spends automatically. You get easy to understand infographics showing spending trends and can quickly compare how much you spend on food over the last few months. Considering you don't have to set anything up, you can get some pretty eye-opening insights into your money spending habits, bills, or other areas of your personal finances. Bills Manager. Part of the Insight system also puts your bills into one place. It can show the amounts and dates for each bill. This makes for a great way to manage your bills and budget. You can also link bills to spaces, making automation easier and, if set up well, peace of mind too. Spaces. This is a common feature among banks now. I love Starlink Spaces though. I don't think there is a limit to how many virtual spaces you can make. You can customize their names and pictures, set money to go in automatically, set goals, see trends. I use spaces all the time for my many sinking funds and love seeing the financial goals I am working towards grow. There's just something nice about how visual the whole thing is. Fixed rate savings. Starling now offers fixed rate savings. They currently have a one year fixed rate savings account offering 3.25% AER slash gross interest on deposits of between 2,000 and 1 million pounds. 
3.25% isn't the best rate, but it is competitive. And if you already bank with Starling, could be a convenient place to keep your money. Auto saving features. You can automatically add money into your spaces on a weekly, monthly or annual basis. You can also use things like roundups and everything else you would expect from a current account nowadays. Automating your finances is something I often promote. It's a great money management tool. I have made a video about how you could automate most of your monthly finances with the Starling app leaving your balance to be the remaining money after Starling automatically sorts out your essential spends. Security. You can lock your card from the app. I've done it before when I thought a fraudulent transaction was happening or when I can't find my card. It's worth noting it's easy to switch back on too. No calls or getting another card if you find yours again. You can also turn on or off certain features on a card, such as using it at an ATM or contactless payments. They also use a really quick and easy self-authentication method when spending on some sites. So if something dodgy is going on and the app requests confirmation, you can simply deny the transaction and figure out what is happening. Split the bill. When dining with friends, the bill arrives. You can opt to split the payment through the app, putting the cost and the amount of people, and it will do the maths for you. If your friends use Starling, it can automatically set up the payment on their apps too. No monthly fees. You don't pay anything to open an account or hold a current account with Starling. There is no premium account where some features are hidden behind a paywall, unlike some other banks. You get access to everything Starling offers at no cost. Opening an account. Starling has a 100% online system for opening an account. You don't need to go anywhere or send anything off. The application is quick and easy. ID checks are done by recording a little video of you saying a passphrase during the application. You can do it all from the app on your phone. Customer support. If you do get stuck, then you can use their customer support, which is open 24 seven and is based in the UK. You can use virtual chats to help with most issues, but if necessary, they can call you up too. There is a handy security feature where you can ask them to quote a number that keeps refreshing on your app to verify the legitimacy of the caller too. FSCS protected. Like you would expect from a bank, they are FSCS protected. The Financial Services Compensation Scheme states that if you hold money with a UK authorised bank, building society or credit union that fails, will automatically compensate you. Up to £85,000 per eligible person per bank, building society or credit union. Travelling benefits. I used Starling when I travelled across 14 different countries in a single trip with my family. I never had any problems and enjoyed all of the features in the app. I stuck with Starling because they have zero fees for being used abroad, use the competitive MasterCard exchange rates and are used in most countries. If you are thinking of traveling and are looking for the best card to take with you, then check out the video over here. Please like the video, it makes a big difference to the YouTube algorithm for me. Thank you a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!